What's up guys? We are in the process of fixing overkill as you've seen what happened to it this week with the kingpin failure and not going to plan so we are getting overkill back in shape right now and you wouldn't believe the awesome shop that we have to work in this week. That's right, we don't always get the luxury of having a shop, so we work in parking lots of the stadium sometimes. Every stop doesn't have a shop with doors open ready for us to come into. Actually, all the Monster Jam trucks are here right now. All the other teams are still here. We just uh, use the parking lots up of these stadiums and then get all the trucks ready, prepared, then we move on to the next stadium. So it's not always a uh, glamorous road. We're out here in the elements, wind, dust flying in your face and uh, trying to get this thing back into shape. So let me show you what's going on. So we got this bottom king pin broke off right here as you see it's missing up here the bearing is still stuck on the king pin I trashed this bearing this bearing right here is trash the king pin still stuck in it that's what broke off here is the inner half of the knuckle as you see it's in three pieces that's not supposed to be like that that's supposed to be one piece so what we're gonna do is we gotta cut all these welds right here because we weld the champagne onto the housing as well as bolt, it gets bolted on and we uh, weld them on to make it that much more secure so we'll have to cut all these welds off right here unbolt it take this champagne off this is a champagne and we'll put this new one on right here so that's what we got going on so that's what we're going to get done and the outer piece over here this is the outer part of the knuckle that's pretty much intact we just had to weld some things to try to get these broken bolts off and actually we don't have a other inner piece to the knuckles so we have to get that overnighted from Maryland to Arizona so that sucks and we'll have that tomorrow morning and get that back on the truck and it's not a major fix it's just very inconvenient not having that part so let's get the work guys We got the champagne off, didn't take too long, So, but now I can't put a champagne on until we get the uh, second half of the knuckle because the knuckle, back side of the knuckle slides over the back side of the champagne and then you bolt the champagne to the housing. So right now, I'm pretty much on hold on this project, so I'm gonna move on to another project. I bent my tie rod a little bit, my father's working on that, and I got a little bit of body repair here. That wheel got into the wheel well, so I'll fix that up and try to keep myself busy. And so I guess it's just a waiting game until we get all the parts we need. I actually might make a cup of coffee. So I got bored with nothing to do on my truck, so I swung down here to uh, bother Corey Rummel and Kevin. 
Well, pretty much since you wrecked your truck, I thought I had to do the same thing. So now I'm stuck here working in the parking lot just like you are. Welcome to the club. How'd you get stuck working on Corey's truck? He already fixed mine. He had way more damage than I had. So. I'd call that bad luck. I'm trying to get out of here soon and go hit up a good Mexican joint. Excited. Feel Mexican? We're feeling Mexican. I'm ready to leave right now. You feel Mexican? Tacos, quesadillas. I'm good. Hey, wait a minute. It's almost Taco Tuesday. Ho ho! <laughs> So we're gonna wrap it up for today. Pretty much at a standstill on my truck until my parts get here in the morning and we can continue on. So my dad's just finishing up brakes on his truck right now. He had a little bit of a brake issue. So Daniel's in there pumping away, trying to prime the brakes, lead the brakes. So uh, I guess I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and we're probably gonna get some tacos tonight because we are close to Mexico and the Mexican joints down here in Arizona are unbelievable. So uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, welcome back to the parking lot. We got the part in, it came in today. So thank you Rick for going to the shop and getting that part for us and sending it to us. That really helps, thank you. Here's what we needed, the inner half of the knuckle. As you can see, this piece is all in one piece. It's not in three pieces, so that's exactly what we need. And it's gonna bolt to that piece. But first, we have to take the champagne, put it through here first, and then we can lift it all up together, then bolt it onto the flange right here. So that's the next process, and then start putting the knuckle together. And we gotta get this done and be out of here, out of this parking lot by about six or seven o'clock tonight. So we got a little bit of work to do today, and we're gonna get to it. So we got the champagne on. It takes about a half hour of wrenching because uh, you got to use the closed end of a 7 8 wrench. It's a 12 point uh, bolt head, so you can't use the open end of the wrench, so you have to constantly put the box on it. So I uh, got that bolted up. See there? So the next step is to take the outer half right here of the knuckle and bolt it to this part of the knuckle so the bolts go through here and here and here and it clamshells together over top that champagne and bearings go top and bottom. So that is the next process. <laughs> Let's get to it. So we put some weld on the champagnes by the on the uh, flange where the champagne meets the flange. Just strengthens a little more, adds to it. So the bolts you're not just relying on all the bolts. So it really helps a lot. Check that out. A couple passes right there. Just. Uh, tends to help a little bit so now it's time to put that knuckle together and get this process underway. So we got the knuckle on together so now what we're doing is putting the races and the bearings in that go on the kingpins and that's what allows the knuckle to turn smoothly on the champagne so that's what you're looking at right here bearings, the race, the race will go on top of the bearing like so when it's in the knuckle. That's what we're getting ready to do. back together and we got the uh, kingpin bearings in bearings races are in and then we put the uh, kingpin caps on so these are the caps right here these bolts clamp it down 
and you have to make sure that the knuckle is properly aligned on the champagne up or down. So it's centered on the champagne up and down. And what you see right here, these plates, these are actually our tether holds. So when a wheel breaks off on the hub right down here, that ring goes against these and it clamps it in there once it's all together so the wheel can't come off if the spindle does break. So that's what that's all about. So now I'm gonna get the axle shafts in it and get the spindle on. That's what all these are for, the spindle going there and so on and so on. So uh, we're gonna get this wrapped up. We're running out of daylight, so we got to hustle. Well that is a wrap on the repairs. Truck's back in working order. And now we're just gonna clean this mess up. We have made a mess. Anywhere we go, we turn it into our garage. That's what we have to do, so. Let's get these things in the trailer and we are gonna head to, head to uh, San Diego tonight. Five hour drive. So let's get going, let's get loaded up. So now is an official wrap for here in Glendale. We got the trucks fixed. Corey got his trucks fixed up. We're done and we're finally out. The shark is swimming again. <laughs> and uh, my truck's ready to go. So we're gonna head to San Diego tonight. We're gonna roll together. Stop at a truck stop tonight and probably get the rigs washed, get something to eat, all that good stuff. So let's get down the road, guys. See you in San Diego.
So we're in San Diego, just got here. It is 1.30 in the morning. It's getting late, I'm tired, I gotta get to bed. But uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Overkill is fixed. My dad's truck's ready to go, so tomorrow we're gonna get the trucks out and start prepping them, getting them ready for the show this weekend. Pretty excited, never been to Petco Park here in San Diego. It's always a pretty good crowd, good show. So excited to come here and make a statement, and we will be doing a good job this weekend. We have to turn this luck around. So I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. So thanks for watching. Please catch up with me in the next video. It will be coming soon. And please share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace, guys.